Meanwhile, the other engines waited and waited. They were grumbling about Thomas for being late. Silence, said the fat controller. Thomas left the work safely, but Snow has brought the telephone lines down. We must assume he is stranded. The engines now felt sorry for Thomas, and cold but confident, the twins set off to the rescue. Suddenly, they came to a drift that was deeper than the rest. Help. Hush, said Donald. I can hear something. Probably the wind, said Douglas. Help. No, listen, insisted Donald. Over here. Look, it's Thomas. Come on, the poor wee engine must be frozen to the frames in there. When the workmen arrived, it took some time to decide how to dig away the heavy drifts of snow. Thomas's driver and fireman, who had taken shelter at a nearby cottage, joined the rescue. At last, Thomas and the precious Christmas tree were freed from the snow drift. Then they set off once more to finish their long journey. The fat controller greeted them warmly. As a reward for all your hard work, you may go and enjoy the carols. Be quick now. At the big station, all was soon ready. One, two, three. Suddenly, like magic, the station was flooded with lights. Ladies, gentlemen, and children, I give you three cheers for Thomas the Tank Engine and all his friends who have made this occasion possible. Suddenly, there was a strange whirring sound. Percy and Toby smiled. They knew who it was. With landing lights shining brightly, Harold the helicopter touched down gently in the snow. Bringing the greatest surprise of all, Father Christmas. Everyone cheered and the party began. It's no fun getting stuck in the snow, whispered Thomas to Percy, but it was worth it for this party. Happy Christmas, Percy. Happy Christmas, everyone.